Hello and welcome. We went through some license updates and changes in our recent releases starting with Ansys 2020 R1. Curious to see what they are? Let's dive in. As a part of making our licenses robust to our applications, we have simplified and modified certain licenses. We changed our CFD and electronics licenses to a ladder based format which is now known as Pro, Premium and Enterprise Licensing. The difference between the three being the capabilities, features and models available in each. Let's take a look at some geometry application license changes. We introduced a common license package called Discovery Modeling that's applicable to our Discovery, Space Claim and Design Modeler applications. To have backwards compatibility, we still can use Design Modeler and Space Claim with their own licenses. The new versions of 2021 R2 and later will try to check for the Discovery Modeling Disco Level 1 license and, if it's not valid or present, will fall back to the older licensing for the applications. Space Claim can go with alternate licenses apart from Discovery Modeling and Space Claim Direct Modeler like Mechanical Enterprise, Prepost, CFD Enterprise or Prepost Electronics Enterprise. You can also use command line arguments to specify the alternate licenses as shown. Let's take a deeper dive into Electronics Pro Premium and Enterprise License Structure and how to enable it. In short, we call this PPE and you can use the PPE licensing from 2020 R1 version of ANSYS or later. To enable it, you can check this box. From 2021 R2, this is automatically enabled. When you disable the PPE checkbox, you can use the older solver licenses under AEDT. Here is a list of capabilities and which level of the electronics licensing supplies them. We are seeing here some maps of the legacy license to the new PPE license model. This will be the licenses for HFSS Design, Maxwell Design, Icepack Design, SciWave Design. That brings us to the end of this lesson.